Gary Bettman has gone to the ends of the earth to make the NHL work in Arizona, but it now looks like it may have all been for nothing. After three different homes, seven ownership changes, and more bankruptcies than playoff series wins, not only does the future look bleak, there is a possibility that they have played their last game in Arizona. Yesterday was, as Frank Saravalli put it, the biggest day in Coyotes history. After all those years of uncertainty, the Coyotes finally looked to have the stability they needed. The team was set to move to Tempe with the proposal of a brand new arena to be built and the promise from Bettman of never leaving the state. The $2.1 billion project was extremely favorable to taxpayers as only $240 million was to be paid by the taxpayer money, and so it looked like they finally had what they needed. A good central location with a fan base that could actually get to the arena unlike Glendale, a billionaire owner to support the team, and a barn to call home that would stabilize the team for the foreseeable future. The biggest hurdle remaining in their way was a vote left to the public, and that vote ultimately came back as no. The people of Arizona delivered a dagger that looks like they may have essentially voted the NHL out of the state. There are rumors that the Coyotes spent about $250,000 in campaign money to sway voters to vote yes. Meanwhile, local unions spent upwards of $2 million. That's 10 times the amount to vote no. And yeah, that seemingly worked as this is likely the end of the Arizona Coyotes. And it is devastating for the fans of the franchise who have been through so much. I know many people like to clown on Arizona, but the truth is after nearly 30 years, there is absolutely support in Arizona. And while it may be a smaller market, that support has been passionate. After everything the fans have been through trying to support the team, for them to now likely be facing the reality of watching their team leave when it was so close, it's really gotta hurt. Because I really think there was a good chance this would have been the answer to finally make it work for the franchise in the desert. But the NHL and the Coyotes are pretty much out of options now with both coming out with statements that talk as if the future of the team will be determined in the coming weeks. Not months, weeks. And this, to me, makes me wonder of the possibility that we could see something like the Atlanta-Winnipeg situation, where it was in late May that it was announced that the Thrashers were done and that the Jets were returning to Winnipeg that following season. Could this be the same? Could the Coyotes be playing somewhere new as early as this next season? Well, where would they go? Houston, if I had to guess. Kansas City and Utah have been cities of interest, but I just think Houston is the most likely. It's the fourth largest city in the U.S. It sets up an instant rivalry with Dallas, who, by the way, have shown hockey has been a success in Texas, and they already have an arena, the Toyota Center, where the Houston Rockets play, which has a hockey capacity of nearly 18,000. That would be perfect, and the return of the Houston Arrows would be pretty cool, and it would also mean that this team would still stay in the central just like the coyotes so it just all makes sense so could we see the coyotes after all these years of the nhl refusing to let them die be gone in the blink of an eye i don't know why but i just feel like they have to play at least one more year in arizona right you guys tell me and let me know your thoughts down below i'd love to hear what you have to say as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one